What's up, guys? Happy Thursday. Uh, I want to get on here and, and clear the air on some stuff. Kind of voice my opinion, voice um, some raw emotion to you guys and, and get out the truth so that you guys um, can kind of understand what's happening so we can all be on the same page because the media really is is, is terrible man the, the media is terrible and they do some evil evil things to create stories and to make things sound better uh, makes things sound worse and truthfully I'm disgusted the way the media has handled this whole situation um, surrounding our team and this is why, based on my, my feelings, I want to get on here and express the truth to you guys and, and moving forward, kind of the, the learning experience and maybe some things taken away from this whole experience. But yeah, out in Chicago, um, we, we played the White Sox in a day or a couple days prior to, to leaving for this trip. The MLB came up with these new protocols that required a curfew and, and some other things that would keep us more isolated as, as baseball players and contain us more in, in like a bubble type sense. Um, and after my start, I went out to dinner with some buddies. We ended up going back to his place, same group that we went to dinner with, and we opened up baseball cards, picked our top two dudes from each pack, we're throwing bets down, you know, just having a good time, hanging out. Um, we broke curfew, I came back late, and I was reported by MLB security being out in public and coming back late to curfew, and the president of baseball operations decided to quarantine me for three days, so that just in case, you know, if I was exposed to COVID, then it wouldn't spread to the rest of the team. And is a great decision on his part. So I did my, you know, my time. I rode in a car service back to Cleveland and I've quarantined for three days. And I've had to take these nasal swabs, um, both negative. And I asked the doctor, you know, today, first off, what is a safe environment for us to be in? You know, cause things are inevitable. You're gonna see people, you're gonna socially interact based on you can't sit in a room all day is the truth of the matter. So you, I wanted to know how we can be safe and moving forward, how I can basically make sure no one else gets put at risk, who are at high risk and danger. And I asked him, what is the CDC like protocol? Like how many people is considered a safe gathering? He wasn't sure. He said it just changed like state to state. And I said, okay, what is Ohio's protocol? for just this state and he didn't have an answer for me and I just did a little bit of research and I found out that it's changing you know day to day and 10 people or less is considered a very safe safe gathering especially if you're six feet apart and that entire night dinner and hanging out at buddy's place after we were not with more than eight people the entire night so media has portrayed me and my my best friend and teammate to be malicious with our actions when we were really you know not justifying what we did because we left the hotel and according to the new rules we weren't supposed to leave but according to cdc and these guidelines with corona we were practicing safe practices in a small group with people who we know have been tested and came back to to our our curfew late which was 10 p.m and are, and clearly been exposed as being bad teammates bad people and dragged across the mud you know um so it's hard to sit here and and kind of watch how things shuffle out and people not knowing the truth and um i wanted to kind of voice i guess you know my opinion and I understand that there are risks people are taking to play this game. And the last thing I would want to do is put anybody at risk. The last thing I would want to do, my little brother has type 1 diabetes. My mom's a nurse. I understand the significance of this illness and this disease. And I know how important it is that we must follow certain 
procedures and, and guidelines to ensure safety for the entirety of a group. So it, it breaks my heart, you know, for people to, to think I'm a bad teammate or a bad person. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys, you know, that moving forward, you know, there is a selflessness lesson taught here. And at the end of the day, I want everybody to be healthy. I want to be a good teammate. I want to win baseball games, man. That's all I want to do. So whatever it takes for me to get back on that diamond and start shoving it up, people, trust me, I'll be ready when they when they need me. But I wanted to get on here and, and just express to you guys kind of the truth of what happened, how this whole thing kind of got blown into a case study on, on Corona virus and, um, you know, moving forward, I want you guys to know that the most important thing to me is, is my teammates and my family and the people I care about. And, you know, I care about all you guys. If you care about me, I appreciate you, but I just want you to know there's no malicious acts being taken by anybody, me or my teammate. And all we want is the best for everyone and for us to win. So sorry for my rant. If you guys spent the time to watch this, thank you. And, you know, have a good rest of the week. Let's let's go, Tribe.